I think storyteller would probably be a better moniker. Visual storyteller, that, that feels right. Eyes back to me and look over my head. Right there. Little different this time. Fantastic. That's, that's the shot. And I strive to tell the story of whoever steps in front of my lens and through that process to tell my own story. Chase. Donnie. Project. Portfolio. Aesthetic. Classic. Images. 8 to 12. Timeline. As soon as possible. Let's do it. I'm ready. And they won't count if you don't I'm Chase Watkins. I've been modeling for three and a half years. I just got um, signed with the Industry Men Miami. In my past work that I've done with Johnny, really got noticed and it really stood out with the Industry Men. And that was a, you know, kind of a huge stepping stone for me. He kind of would get in the pose for me and give me some ideas. Let's have you just lean in so we can almost cross arms or whatever. This, this is good, just like this. Really intense again, like I owe you money. And then um, his speed with his camera was really good. So it's for me, you know, I could just kind of go through different stages of uh, poses. Perfect. That's really great. Oh, these are stellar. And then chin back to me just a little. And then eyes right through me. I was probably around seven or eight years old when I got my first camera. And it was a Polaroid Land camera. And for me, it was this spectacular tool that allowed me to hold on to people places and things. Um, I was always saying goodbye. I was always leaving things behind. And so with that camera, I was able to amass a collection of friends and of family and of environments um, and carry those things forward with me. Um, I had these tangible keepsakes of what was important. But over the course of time, I realized that there was a void in my world, in my life, and that something was missing. And what was missing was art. Ultimately, at my core, as an individual, I am an artist. And so some years ago, I ended up purchasing my first professional level digital camera, DSLR, and I started photographing everything. Uh, landscapes, street, uh, people that I met, flowers, cityscapes. My camera was always with me. It was a constant companion, and it reignited this passion inside of me that had been dormant for a very long period of time. And somewhere along that journey, someone suggested to me, hey, you know, you have good communication skills, you build rapport easily, you're fairly charismatic and people are drawn to you, why don't you try portraiture? Tell me about where you're at and where you're trying to go in terms of this session and us working together. Um, I want to get out of my comfort zone and out of the whole fitness and just kind of look at better opportunities that could uh, expand for better you know, exposure. Well, and I see that a lot of your portfolio is fitness oriented, and so if we work together, my goal would be to move into the editorial realm, to move into the fashion realm, to play with new poses and new style, and to get you imagery that you don't already have in your portfolio um, that's going to allow you to potentially delve into new opportunities and create appeal for you to people who may be looking at you right now as um, somewhat one-dimensional just because of what you've done so far. Someone had said to me, hey, Johnny, you're a fashionable guy. You're good with color. Um, you have a good sense for lines and dimension. Why don't you try fashion? And at first, um, I was a bit apprehensive. You know, I thought of fashion as being a bit vacuous, maybe a bit elitist, but being open-minded, I decided to give it a go. And I jumped head first into it, as I do with all things. And I had an opportunity to work with some really phenomenal teams. You know, allied professionals in hair and makeup, uh, designers, set designers, creative directors, stylists, models. It, the list goes on. And on those teams, I found so much fulfillment in being able to collaborate and collectively work on these projects toward a unified vision where everyone was plying their respective trade toward a singular end. I would have never expected to find so much joy and so much place and purpose and fulfillment in fashion, but I did. And now when I get to work with these teams, I'm filled with so much gratitude that I can work with other artists, that I can work with other creatives and creators, and that 
together as a unified whole, we can create magic in its own right. And it's a spectacular process, and it's something that gives me meaning as a man and as an artist and as a professional. And also, the industry, fashion and editorial work, has allowed me to essentially turn my passion into profession and to be able to pay my bills doing what I love and, and spending each day engaging in something that, that rarely feels like work. It feels like play and it's been a surreal, amazing journey and it's something that I am um, immensely grateful for. It screams rebel, which is exactly what we got going on yeah. here, so everything flows. Really good job matching your emotion to the wardrobe. Yeah. Like, I really appreciate that, and you're doing a fantastic job, so I think we're probably solid on this outfit, too. You're crushing it. Right, like, seriously, this is, this is an easy process. So don't be acting like a, acting like a fool, fool, fool. Look at you sobbing like a moon. Trying to get everybody.